and welcome everybody here on Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Orzov Control, our next deck for our 5-0 Friday stream. This stream is where I play some 5-0 deck lists from Magic Online, from those leagues that they publish. And there's one that looked pretty cool here with Orzov Control. I mean, there's a couple that look pretty cool, as you can see these different decks that we're playing here. But yeah, this is good old Orzov Control. This is kind of like Esper Dance, kind of, with um, us playing Doom Foretold. Like, that's, like, really this, the um, the uh, similarity. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. I wanted to say synergy. We had the similarity there. So, you know, like, we are a Doom Foretold deck. Um, you know, very powerful Orzov enchantment here. Um, only playing four of the of the eggs, um, not all eight to go along with it, because we don't really need a whole bunch in our graveyard or anything for Dance of the Man. So we just want, need a couple of things to sacrifice. So we got the four Golden Egg, four Othakaya to be able to be out um, to help us sacrifice with Doom Foretold. We're also playing more creatures, whether it's removal with Murderous Rider, um, life gain and hand disruption with bell haunt or um, removal for anything, changing anything into a 3 3 token with Cavalier of Dawn. So we got a few more creatures in here. A um, couple Spyglass, main deck Spyglass, because it's just real good against all the planeswalkers running around. Like our, our deck's already going to be okay against the creatures with having Cry of the Carnarium, Kaya's Wrath um, in there, but I guess, I guess it's worried about uh, planeswalkers. So there's multiple Spyglass and an Elder Spell as well. Uh, for the late game, there's a Dawn of Hope that can make soldiers in the late game. Also can draw us cards whenever we gain life. Uh, we have a Command the Dread Horde that's mostly going to be using our opponent's stuff, the, getting back their creatures and planeswalkers that we kill, especially with Doom Foretold. Uh, three Lilianas, very great, very good card advantage engine. Can make them sacrifice a couple of creatures or make our own horde of zombies. And an Ugin to, I don't know, be ineffable, I guess. Uh, sideboard, lots of different interaction depending on what our opponent's playing, including, um, or and then also a couple of good three mana planeswalkers with Davriel in control matchups and Kaya. Really, you want to bring in Kaya when that minus one is good. If your opponent's playing permanents that cost one or less that you want to exile, such as Edgewall Innkeeper, or Knight of the Ebon Legion, then Kaya is going to work out pretty well. So we got a Kaya in there also. All right, so we're going to try this deck over in Ranked. That's what we do with um, with all of these 5-0 Friday deck lists. Um, I, ha I have not played a deck like this at all before. Um, and so we're going to be playing four matches. You see the first one, we went one and three. Um, but still, this is a pretty slow format. These decks are pretty slow too. It's so like that that one and three was like a, was like a two hour league. So we're gonna be playing four matches with each of these two decks. And we'll see how we do. <laughs> AKA Orzov kill all your stuff. Yep, basically that. No black mana. So black sources, I have 8, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 19 black sources in the deck. So we're probably going to draw black sources. I kind of like this turn 2 Dawn of Hope, turn 3 Othakaya thing. Yeah, it's good. the 18th is going to be a really interesting day. Don't know what's going to happen. Um, but yeah, just 10 days away. Um, we'll see what, what happens at the format. Hey, it looks like, looks like maybe we're playing against an Oko deck. Finally. We haven't played against an Oko deck. And there we go. We didn't at all before earlier today, and we didn't at all yesterday either. Yeah, the minus nine on Liliana basically, um, basically gets rid of all but one of each 
permanent type. So your opponent chooses one land that they want to keep, and they have to get they have to sacrifice all the rest of their lands. They can they can keep one creature, they can keep one artifact, one enchantment, one planeswalker, all the rest they need to sacrifice. So it's really really devastating, especially with the lands. Having to sacrifice all of your lands except for one is really devastating. So unfortunately the castle comes into play tapped. So I could I could play the castle in tapped and then I do absolutely nothing this turn. I think it's more valuable to just play this other planes and be able to activate Dawn of Hope. That hurts. You won't see the end coming until it's too late. Anyway. That hurts. Can't imagine they would make that attack, right? Okay. What? I mean, I guess I could have just done no blocks and then attacked the Vraska. I guess I should have just done that. But... Then they would eat my 1-1 one -one with the wolf. So Othakai can kill Vraska. Now dealing with Nissa is going to be tough, though. All right, so it looks like I need to mulligan. <laughs> yep. Uh, there's an elder spell in the main deck. Yeah, we have we have an elder spell in the main deck. Um, I, the question was, are there elder spells in the sideboard? There's one one main, one side. But yeah, this game's not looking great anyway. So, I guess having in the the sideboard pretty important too. Nature's true power. All right. Well, I'm conceding here. So, planar cleansing, noxious grasp. Another Elder Spell. Um, planar Cleansing... Planar Cleansing is really awkward in this deck. I have a lot of permanents. I kind of don't like this Planar Cleansing at all. I feel like it's gonna like blow up my spy glasses and stuff. Is it possible I just don't play spy glass? Spy glass gives my opponent a very good uh, Vraska m minus target, so like you kind of have to name Vraska, but then Oko can get rid of it. Yeah, let's let's just not play spy glass. All right, now, lastly, Basilica Bell Hunt. I'm going to play Duress instead of Bell Hunt. Um, try to be able to take Planeswalkers, take, like, Veil of Summer. 
that kind of stuff. Um, I don't, I, no, if you're, so basically, yeah, Kaya's good, I mean, Kaya's good against all, like, the aggro decks, you know, like, you're basically all, all your decks with, uh, one toughness stuff, but you're saying, is it worth it to craft? I would say no. Um, Mythic wild cards are valuable, and, um, I'm consistent, consistently disappointed with Kaya when playing the card. Um... I'm either putting back Othakaya or Liliana. Liliana's the obvious one because I only have three lands right now. But I like having Liliana as a top end card. Othakaya. I'm putting this back. Othakaya doesn't kill. Doesn't kill Planeswalkers. I have Kaya's Wrath for creatures anyway. My opponent may be playing this slower to try to have Veil of Summer protection for everything. Certain you're quite charmed to meet me. I think a little merriment is in order. That's a really good draw. Noxious grasp. So I'm really glad no veil of summer. I guess I could have. I guess I should have upkeeped that. And eh, it doesn't really matter. All right, so yeah, they're gonna just trade the Noxious Grass for the Murderous Rider without me having to spend the three mana on the Murderous Rider. So that's good. Except me. Oh, it's not often I'm outmaneuvered. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. Oh, I do love a good death whale. So of course they wanted me to do that before they played the Wicked Wolf. They didn't want to have to sacrifice Wicked Wolf. Uh, another Krasis. It makes sense of why they didn't want to sacrifice the land. Is That's why I thought there was another Krasis. But yeah, them drawing the shock land definitely confirms that. Hmm. Run 
rise and shine. So I could have just cast Kaya's Wrath, of course, and then been able to Cavalier of Dawn a, a Planeswalker if they draw one of those. So that's the risk of using Cavalier of Dawn here is a Planeswalker. Well, we got rewarded. And my opponent doesn't have a Noxious Grasp anymore. Alright, so I'll draw two. Not. That was good. Hey, good brother. Um. This looks like a fun new toy. I'm not sure if I'm just supposed to just play the Doom Foretold that immediately turns into a 2 2 and they discard a card. Liliana is doing a great job. Get us more cards. They were a lousy servant anyway. Ugh. So the elk event. It's such over-the-top player trolling that I have to tip my hat to them. Definitely paying for it. Shows they're self-aware. Yeah, it seems like they're... They either really like... They either really like the trolling, or they are really not aware. Because, yeah, not only, not only that elk event that's going on now... I got punished for using my land... But then also, you know, the right. the next core set is a Teferi core set. <laughs> it's like, and it's like, what's what's going on here? Oh, anyway, the, the song that was the yeah yeah yeahs, and the song was called Map or Maps, something like that. I guess it it just went away, so the thing couldn't determine what it was. That's a bad use of a duress anyway. I should just sit back and wait. What a good mindless minion. It's going to draw us a lot of cards. I'll take this Doom Foretold back. Thank you. Death. I've learned much from your death. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> nah. 
Good health is easy to find in war. Well, this deck seems pretty sweet whenever it gets going, and especially when it has Liliana Dreadhorde General in play. Liliana's been awesome. Shock, huh? All right, so they're telling me they got Veil of Summer. Yeah, the only reason why they would shock there is having a Veil of Summer. So obviously I could finish my opponent off with these Othakayas upstairs. They gotta have Veil. Waste not, want not. Having them use a veil on a Nothikai is not the worst thing, though. Oh, I guess I, that just cycles. I should have played Dawn of Hope. That doesn't cycle. Yeah, putrid, but effective. So Kai is wrathing away the the crisis to help this Liliana continue to uh, work towards ultimate. <laughs> yeah, Liliana. Yep, yeah. Liliana offered this veil over here. Uh, correct. I could have minus forward, and then Veil of Summer would not have um, would not have done anything. But I wanted to keep ticking this up towards nine. Waste not, want not. They got rid of my other Othakaya. Yeah, I do like the the waste not nod in her lines. Yeah, that's a good one. That was a cool card, waste not. So that Liliana definitely won us that game. You know, some very large crisis. We got to draw a ton of cards. All right, here we go. I really liked the Cavaliers. Cavaliers rebuying um, Dawn of Hope. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, Waste Not from M15. 1B enchantment. Whenever an opponent discards a creature, you make a 2-2 two -two zombie. Whenever they discard a land, you add BB to your mana pool. And whenever they discard a non-creature non-land, you get to draw a card. That was a really cool card. Alright, so this 
this hand is not good against turn two Oko, so maybe I should have mulliganed, but it's, I mean, it's like, you know, four lands with really good mana, with, you know, basically, you know, four lands with perfect mana and three spells. It's like, it's pretty difficult to mulligan that, even though we don't stop turn two Oko. Yay, not turn two Oko. I guess Othakaya is a very slow removal spell. Goose, goose. Alright, well, unfortunately, we've just drawn three lands. I'm definitely fetching here to try to take a land out of the deck, because I would prefer to stop drawing lands. That would be my preference. We will not fail. Rise, my elemental friend. So I'm glad there's not another Veil of Summer. That's good. They really just have to have a Krasis also. <laughs> the land shall conquer you. Uh, this, is, this is the tough part about not playing ramp. They get to play their five drop. And then untap and then play something else a lot bigger before you get to play your five drop that kills theirs. So it's It's difficult. Can't even kill the Nissa even though I have to. But I can't. So I don't know what we're supposed to do now. Yeah, didn't play anything turn one, turn two, or turn three. I mean, they played a goose. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, they played a goose on one, but yeah, didn't do anything on turn two or turn three. And then Nissa on four, and then 11 mana on five. It's pretty good. So I have to draw Elder Spell and Kaya's Wrath for my next couple draw steps. Or, like, Planar Cleansing and Kaya's Wrath. I guess it has to be Kaya's Wrath first. Um, I'm one mana short from being able to stay alive. Are exhausting. So I have one more mana. I could activate Castle and make a 1 1. Oh, that doesn't even keep me alive. Never mind. All right, turns out Nissa into Krasis is still good. I wasn't sure. I hadn't played against an Oko deck in a long time. But yeah, as, we, as you saw there that game, my opponent basically never played Oko. They were just fine. Yep. All right, new game.
keep a two lander on the play with a bunch of spells we can't cast. This is disgusting. All right, well, at first hand to actually have some land drops. Yeah, 69% of decks, so yeah, basically 70% are Oko decks at the Mythic Championship, and 87% 80, of the decks are green. There's only 13% of decks that are not green decks. You know, there's, it's like, you know, like your Rakdos Sacrifice and your Jeskai Fires. I'm probably just going to crack this egg here to gain three life. Yeah, Edder, I mean I, I agree. I'm not I'm not saying that the, the problem is just Oko. I mean if, if Oko is banned, Simic is still gonna be the most po popular color combination by a long ways if it's just Oko being banned. It'll still be very good. It'll still be the best in standard even if it's banned. Even it's just okay. So I don't know. I could. I could honestly something. I could. I mean, it's also po it's possible that nothing happens. But it's also possible. Like I could see something crazy, such as. Um. I could see something crazy such as like, you know, just a ton of Simic cards getting banned. Like Oko, Nissa, and Krasis. I could see that happening on the 18th. It'll be just really interesting to see what see what happens. The large range of outcomes that could happen on the 18th. Yeah, once upon a time, could get banned. I don't. I don't think Goose. I don't think it's. Re I don't think Goose will. But I think it's possible. Once upon a time does. Um. Pretty recently, we had. Uh, there was a banning that that had uh, five cards banned. Like that was the Ramanop Ruins, um, the Dinosaur, Rogue Refiner, um, a tune with Ether, and like something else. 
Rampaging Ferocidon, yeah, that, that one. Trying to stabilize at one against a Gruul deck that has tons and tons of haste isn't isn't very likely. I'll be pretty surprised if we untap, but it looks like we're going to untap. So I'm I am surprised. <laughs> Rise and shine. I can make one life linker with Dawn of Hope here. Yeah, pretty close game for our Moldafor. I mean, that's a Kaya's Wrath against creatures. Tis good. And the Bell Haunt, get Bell Haunt back. Part was really good too. Good one. So now we're not just dead to a questing beast. Or a Skargan Hellkite. This looks like a fun new toy. Wow, we did it. Mold the four. GG's. <sighs> he said Krasis was fine for a long time before War of the Spark. Well, it was... Krasis was in the set before War of the Spark, which was Ravnica Allegiance. So A, it wasn't that legal before War of the Spark, but B, it was still part of the very... It was still like thought of as the best card in standard at the time because before war of the spark um the dominating deck was sultai with um you know with crisis that was the new card you know like it, remember that was like crisis you know like hostage taker was everywhere because of crisis and obviously it was all the explore creatures and a five mana vivian crisis has been one of the very best cards in standard ever since it was printed in ravnica allegiance then obviously nissa took it to another level but it's it's never been anything but amazing. All right, so gruel stuff. Taking out these spy glasses, this elder spell. Uh, I'm not sure how much I really want devout decree. Uh, I guess they are they are oko as well. They did have oko. Um, they have a lot of one drops for Kaya. Let's try this Kaya, um, and I'm gonna play Prison Realms over Cry of the Canarium, and give this a try. Yeah, five mana Vivian. See, that's a that was a really good Planeswalker. It was a Planeswalker that took over the game if you left it out on the battlefield, but you know it cost five mana. Um, that was a that's a that's like what planeswalker should be like is the five mana Vivian. That's a good one. Wish these were dual lands. But I mean, this hand is pretty loaded. This is obviously this is our best card right here.
Well, that land was a good draw. I'm not a, a fan of this turn one Pelt Collector, turn two Zertar Goblin, turn three Oko. I'm certain you're Start my opponents hanging out with over here. One bite, and all your cares are gone. So we gotta draw an untapped white source. Fine, remain blind. Ideally. All right, Anatran, have a good night. I definitely consider just playing Bell Hunt because, like, they're you know, like they're not putting more creatures out there. I definitely consider just playing Bell Hunt. But then if I just go Bell Hunt and they have um, <clears throat> Domri's Ambush, which we saw previously, I don't know. I'm not dead. That's not even that big of a deal for me. I probably should have just gone Bell Hunt. Mm. Yep, should have just gone Bell Hunt. That's choking out lies. That's bad. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. That's really bad. Alright, they got the draw this time. Dawn of Hope seems way too slow. Hmm. They don't seem to be playing too many red cards. I think the only one that we've seen is Zertar Goblin. Kind of assume they're playing more than just Zertar Goblin for playing that whole creature, though. Or sorry, for for playing that whole color, though. Um, so Devout Decree is an option there then. I think I'm kind of thinking either Devout Decree or Elder Spell. Or cry on the play. I'll play a cry on the play. All right, hoping we can find an untapped second land here with our first two cards with the temple. So we really want to play untapped land on turn two to golden egg and then this temple on turn three. Yeah, if you're searching for a cheap deck. Um, Um, I, I really like, for a very cheap budget deck, um, I recommend Mono Blue. This deck here. And um, there you go, that deck right there. And you can even play uh, 
I think we, yeah, we'll go. I think we want to go draw then scry. You can also play unsummon instead of brazen borrower to make it even more budget. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. Welcome to the feast. So yeah, like if you, if you replace Brazen Borrower with Unsummon, you're playing a deck that has zero rares and zero mythics with that mono blue deck. The only there was no rares and the only mythic was Brazen Borrower. I invite you to change your ways. Yeah, I guess my play was pretty bad against Brazen Borrower bouncing my Doom Foretold. Now I not killing the Yoko. Could have just passed and or could have just played the golden egg and then had Noxious Grass for Oko. Kaya here with the minus one will be able to exile this 3 3. And then can also tick up and gain us a little bit of life. Yeah, it's kind of similar to Esper Stacks with just Doom Foretold and Golden Egg. It doesn't have any more of these besides. Golden, like it doesn't have the other ones. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of similar to as per stacks though. Darn. Your new look is enchanting. I was hoping they weren't going to turn my creature into Basilica Elkant, but they did. Yeah, that's what his block. Kind of wish I didn't have the Kaya now. All right, so perfect time for Kai's Wrath, and then make them, uh, they're going to have to discard their last card now, 
and we'll get rid of a land and a paradise druid. You won. I'll be back. We just want to exile one creature each time with the Kaya, because you know it's if you just exile you exile two cards, and if one of them's a creature, then you gain two life. All right, so I'm at 13, so we can make it 15. Good riddance to my wolf. You better watch your back from here on out. So I'm at 15, so we'll go three, six, eight. Let's just do eight. Those blind to tyranny One by one. All right. And all your cares are gone. Oh yeah, the bell haunt in my in my I forgot about the bell haunt in my graveyard. Yeah, I should've I should have grabbed Bell Haunt and make them discard the last card too. Instead of grabbing like instead of grabbing the two two. <laughs> We're playing Orzoko. That's Orzov with Oko. Orzoko. My opponent was just playing Gruloko. Gruel with Oko. Yeah, we beat Noko. They played two Okos, and we won. No, there's no Disparks in here. No. <laughs> I don't... What does that Oko's Madness actually do? Oh, I wish I, wish I would have gone and actually looked at the, the format. I don't know. What's, what's the the whole stipulation you know like what's the shtick with playing the oko's madness format <laughs> if you're playing selesnia with oko it's convoco <laughs> that's pretty good oh you have to play it to get the murderous rider ultimate alternate art Ugh. well i want to get that all right so we'll be playing it so what it yeah like what's the shtick behind the format What meta breaking to fairy do you predict core 2021 will add? Uh, it will probably be something like you're too close minded. If you play an instant speed spell or activate any ability at, at instant speed or do or even look at your opponent at instant speed, any of them, you lose the game on the spot. Mm. It's not the worst thing to do next turn. If I play Rider this turn, I just play Egg, Crack, Egg. And also, you can play all of your cards at instant speed as well. Ah, it's Simic, Simic Flash Oko. Um, no, you don't need to make a Anoko Madness thumbnail for today. It's like Momir, but the stats of the creatures are all 3-3 three, three green elks. Yuck. That's what I have to say there. I don't think six mana sorcery speed cards are going to be very good right now. Hmm. They're not. What a surprise.
All right. Uh, admittedly, this looks like a really bad matchup, especially if they have turn three am or turn four ambusher. Yeah, not sure how our deck's supposed to win this one. This one's probably a loss. Okay, hoping, you know, really hoping we get to resolve Davriel on three. I'll play this before an oath of. Or besides, sorry, besides a Veil of Summer. All right, so good. Looks like we'll be able to resolve Davriel on three, hopefully. And then, uh, unless one of those two cards they drew were a counterspell, and then start attacking this hand. Resolve. Oh, come on. Well, that was my chance. Blech. Ooh. Them not having mana, I guess that's my other chance. Yeah, they don't have mana. All right, we'll get this bell haunt in here. Stop drawing, stop drawing five drops. Uh, no, I mean, I think they were shocking for Frill Mystic. It could be a wolf also, but I think that's the main reason to shock there. They just want me to play something to get value out of their frilled mystic. Like, like they're at the point like where they they're gonna counter anything I play. That's all. I could go, I could throw the golden egg out there. They counter the golden egg, and then I duress. That's not bad. Hmm. Didn't counter. I guess that's why. I'm not popping the egg. I want to keep the egg for Cavalier and everything. Yeah, I know, like, that play was bad against Wolf if we didn't draw land. We kind of need to... Nah, I mean, we're fine. We're fine. Cause they kind of need to counter this. Oh no, a two mana counter? Oh my gosh, we are not fine anymore. That quench? 
Wow. Wow, that quench. That's twice my opponent just drew a really, really clutch quench right before we were going to play a devastating card. Ugh. I mean, I, like, I was planning on them, you know, like, countering that spell, and then with, like, a regular sense of sabotage, then I untap and Kaiserath, and the ambusher's gone. Thankfully, we're drawing every single possible top-end card we can, so that's great. Drawn every five drop in my deck and a third of the six drops that I have right now in the deck. Wow, that quench. <laughs> Literally drew every expensive card in my deck. Oh my gosh. Just all the fives and sixes. Well, my my well, my opponent drew two ridiculously good quenches that saved the game both times. Ugh. Oh well. One and two. Hopefully, we can even this up. Even if we won that one, I I don't think. Like I'm. I'm pretty surprised we didn't win that one, to be honest, for how the cards were. But even if we would have won that, which we probably should have, the game three, you know, like if, if we have reasonable draws and my opponent has reasonable draws, we should have won that game too. But also game three, I think we would have lost. So I think we were still probably going to lose the match. Uh, this is the problem with turn one Skylands. There's just a lot of decks that Cryo Carnarium is a dead card against. There you go, I like that more. So I guess we're playing against the same Naya deck that we played against earlier. That's what this sure looks like. Yeah, Naya fires again. I don't know why this deck's only popular. I didn't, I didn't see it in any decks that did well kind of thing. This just might be a streamer deck that so many made popular. Hopefully they don't have turn four fires this time. Whenever we played against it before, they had turn four fires all three games. Hopefully not turn four turn four fires this time. I don't know if it's the same opponent or not. I don't know. I take a check. Yeah, it actually is just the same opponent. I went back and looked. So yeah, it is just the same opponent. Uh, they did have turn four fires yet again. Merriment's, like, really tough over a long game, though, also. <laughs> Instantly punished. 
or not destroying merriment. Instantly punished. Uh, last I was playing Selesnia tokens whenever we played against this opponent last time. You want to go, tough guy? This is just gonna be bad for you. You don't need me anymore. I require servants. Your courts will buy. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Yeah, we have four Doom for Tolds. How disappointing. That would be a good one to draw. Super punished for not killing this merriment. This merriment is going to kill me. So punished for not killing that thing. Well, maybe we can stabilize with them not having anything else. Maybe not. All right, so if I... Make that block, I die. So if we make this block, we take four, five, six, seven, we go down to three. Back in it. What a good mindless minion. They do have questing beasts in their deck though, so they like we're not I'm not not dead. 
I don't know if that's if that's too many knots. I don't know. Basically, I could be dead. Cool. No questing beast. Ugh. Stay back. I'm an Gross. <laughs> No pressure. <laughs> That's my one. You're playing with fire here. Okay. It's putrid, but effective. It's gonna be a long, long time. <laughs> like if I can kill Chandra just by attacking, I may be able to just Cavalier of Dawn to kill the Merry Mint. It's a good time to get back into arena. Um, I mean, yeah, I, mean, I like. I mean, I I like playing arena all the time. Yeah, but how's the meta? The meta has lots and lots of simic decks right now. Um, there's a there's a real big B and R announcement in ten days on the 18th. That um, will be really interesting to see what happens. That's a good call. I could Cavalier of Dawn the Prison Realm and get a new Cavalier of Dawn and then use that to Cavalier something else. Boom. How uncivilized. Rocket man. So yeah, they had to keep my Liliana from ultimating. I'm sorry, friend. Okay, Arena's going through a little bit of a lag part here. I am I'm really glad that like one of their last um, state of the program updates that they talked about how that they know about the performance issues and are going to be working on fixing the performance issues. Smelly, but effective. I was very glad about that. So we should be able to just have this from here, I would think. Um, I'll just make a one-one. I could, I could crack this to gain three life and then draw a card with the with the Dawn of Hope. <laughs> Rise and shine. Be a long time. I think it's gonna be a long time. They do say you can't take it with you. All right, there goes all the lands. Yeah, they could double block a Cavalier, though. I don't want to trade a Cavalier for a 3-3 when I'm about to Liliana ultimate.
If only this was target permanent that was black or red where it could exile fires or merry mint. Definitely a very good planar cleansing matchup. No, I don't think I want Kaya against Merry Mint tokens. It's no, because like their things have haste to be able to attack Kaya and everything. And yeah, they they just keep on coming down. Gonna get up, gonna get up and move. Play Davriel instead of Othakaya. No, I don't want Spyglass um, because Spyglass is very easy to deal with. Like they have, they they're playing Cavaliers that kill any permanent. Um, I'm playing Planar Cleansing, so I don't want that. Um, I'm playing like an Elder Spell for the Chandras instead. Yeah, the Cry saved me last game. I'm going to try to not to get in, into that situation again. Whoa. What was that? What was that? Oh, it was the Liliana Ultimate visual bug that just happened, like, my turn one here. Mmm. It's not great for me. I guess it's fine. So I was thinking, like, I want the Doom Foretold to be able to take out the Merry Mint. Underneath, I just perish the thought. And then I was thinking, well, this they just prison realm it, and then I have to like get rid of the prison realm, but this is, this will work. Yeah, I, d I didn't put together this list. This was a 5 0 list. That's that's what we're doing today here at 5 0 Friday. So this, this was a 5 0 list for Magic Online. Um, so as far as specific card choices, but um, yeah, so I can't really say why there's no Disparks. I don't know. Dispark um, is. A back to the shadows is a cool card to have to play and everything. I don't know. That's a good card. I guess I'm supposed to get white because of Cavalier. I don't have any Cavaliers though. Black man is kind of better for everything else. I don't mind sacking Davriel, and then they discard a card, I draw a card. So is it better to have them discard, I draw? Or just continually make them discard when they're stuck at three lands here? Be needing that.
I think I, I kind of wanted to pair up Davriel with Belhaunt and make them get rid of their whole hand. Of my time. That's a good Temple of Skrylance. <laughs> this is the best Davriel I've ever seen. So yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, Doom Foretold is just amazing against an enchantment deck. This time we can sacrifice the Davriel if they do sacrifice that. That's why I played this Murderous Rider out also. A couple of other things to just, just to sacrifice. Oh, I was like, why'd they spend mana on that? They have fires. And then I was like, oh yeah, right, they they sacrificed the fires. Never mind. We'll get this outlaw's merriment eventually. Side with whomever brewed. What a bother. What a bother. I guess Davriel's British now. Stop this enchantment on enchantment violence. I know, I know. Tap the green source. Sit back and watch it burn. March into battle and make new comrades. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. Waste not, want not. I have to say this is going pretty good for us. This is going pretty good for us. We begin. Hmm. Come to me. Sarkin. Uh, I Sar can't believe that they drew that card. None of y'all can kill us, Arkin. Did I... 
did I have actually did I have one more creature that I could have attacked and killed Sarkin first? Right. I guess I didn't really look at that honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had some sarcasm there. They had four blockers, I had five attackers. Whoops. Wheel. Sure. Look ah, I sorry can't believe I made that mistake. Ugh. I hope you watched. But I'm pretty sure we can Sark Wait. I'm pretty sure we Sark can handle this planeswalker still. There we go. Just how do we want to do it? Smelly, but effective. No. Give me another card. Yeah, get rid of the shared summons. They're playing a bunch of shared summons. It's the third one of those. You broke down, you made Sultai food. I can understand that. This looks like a fun new toy. My presence alone. Secrets manifest before you. I'll find a use for you later. Planar cleansing? No. <clears throat> I mean, if yeah, they could play the veil to cycle the veil, but then all they're gonna do is just discard the card that they draw. Whenever they cycle Veil, right? Because like they still have, they'll still have to discard a card, so they'll just they'll just discard the card that they draw. And so if they know they don't really have they don't have an instant for just red and white mana because they didn't have extra green. So if they don't have an instant with just red and white mana for them to play, which I I would doubt their deck has. You know, like their Fires of Invention deck. I don't know what red and white instant would be in it. Ugh. All right, so we went two and two. This deck got to to really run away with it whenever you get going. Doom Foretold was awesome. Liliana was amazing. Those two cards, very, very good. The Dawn of Hope, eh. I'm kind of mad on the Dawn of Hope. It's fine, I guess, as a one-of. Um could play zero, zero or one of that card. The Cry of the Carnarium is probably the worst card in the deck. Um, it's Cry of the Carnarium is is good against Edgewall Innkeeper, Midnight Reaper, those decks, which we have been playing a ton of those decks recently. And it's very good against Cauldron Familiar because it exiles Cauldron Familiar. So it's it's really good against those kind of decks. Um, so maybe it should be more sideboard than main deck. I'm not sure, but. Um, I don't like the spy glasses, honestly. They 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 didn't really seem like anything I wanted. Um, I I would kind of prefer us just having like a second elder spell in the main. Um, and like maybe like you know maybe like a second elder spell in a noxious grasp or you know other cards that other two mana things besides the spy glass. I really didn't like it. Uh, maybe Dispark. Um. Yeah, Cry's perfect against Cauldron Familiar. It's it's the only way to really exile Cauldron Familiar for good. Um, 
the main deck command the dread horde was okay it was it was better than i thought it would be but still you know it's a lot of sixes but it was better than i thought it would be Yes, uh, I guess, yeah, if you don't know how this card works, it doesn't It doesn't matter if they sacrifice it with Oven. This exiles all creatures that were put into the battle. Like, look at that, the second sentence there. Exile all creature cards in all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield. So if you sacrifice a cat to a witch's oven, it gets exiled. It exiles, yeah, and then also if a creature would die later on in the turn, it exiles it too. So this card just exiles everything that was put into the, the graveyard at all during the turn. Um, there's no way to save a cauldron familiar with, at all. No problem. Um, so yeah, basically, I don't like the spy glasses. I don't love the cry. I don't love the dawn of hope, but they're okay. <clears throat> Command the Dreadhorde was better than I expected, but I still don't love it. And that's kind of about it with those. So I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with those slots. I don't really have a great recommendation. You know, maybe like Dispark and Elder Spell. I liked the Elder Spell. Um, maybe another Murderous Rider. The Murderous Rider was awesome. We only have two of them in here. They were awesome. I could see turning these into a Rider and a Dispark. Or an Elder Spell, like that kind of stuff. I'd have to say Cavalier of Dawn was amazing. Yeah, I loved this card. Because Doom Foretold was awesome, and then, you know, you sacrifice your Doom Foretold, you get back your Doom Foretold with Cavalier. That's a really good combination there. So, yeah, this deck has a lot of good things going for it. It's it's still pretty rough around the edges. I don't really know what you do about counter spells like the Simic Flash matchup. I, I think you probably just lose the Simic Flash, and that's okay. Um... But, yeah, there's a lot of really good stuff going on with Orzhov Control here, honestly. Doom Foretold, Cavalier, Liliana, really powerful. I liked it. Um, yeah, so, yeah, what would I do? I don't know. I'd, honestly, I'd have, to, I'd have to really take some time in everything of, of you know, how you're saying, like, what, like how would I change this completely? I, I don't know. Um... No, making it indestructible doesn't matter. This gives this lowers the power. So making making cauldron familiar indestructible doesn't save it. You'd have to have a you have to have giant growth. You know, you have to have you have to be able to pump spell it up over the, the minus two minus two. Um yeah, but thought distortion doesn't get rid of like Simic Flash also has a whole lot of creatures, you know, like with um with all their creatures. And and thought distortion also costs six mana. I that's not that's not the card to beat Simic Flash. So maybe like a writer and another elder spell instead of these things. Um, whoops, oath. Because writer also being you know something to put out for Doom Foretold is nice too. Um, Spyglass is that way also, but it's just I don't know. I I think it's. It's not something I really want. Um, this Elder Spell, it could be Dispark also. So, you know, whether you want to go two Elder Spell or one Elder Spell, one Dispark. There's just a lot of Oko and just other Planeswalkers and everything around. Um, I probably wouldn't play the Command the Dread Horde, even though it, it did win us some games. I guess it did. I guess Command did more for us than Ugin did. And our deck can already deal with any permanence because of Doom Foretold. I don't know. That's that's what I would I would keep my eye out. I def I I think you need three Liliana. This card was awesome, but I would keep my eye out on maybe taking out the Command or the Ugin uh, for something cheaper, um, even if it's just a, a cheaper threat or or something else. Uh, I think my my least favorite card in the sideboard is the Kaya. Like, I could see this being, like, main deck Davriel kind of thing also.
there some other? I don't want Gideon. Don't want Soren. I don't know what. Oh, um, actually, I do know this. This should have this deck should have like a, a realm cloak giant or another Kaya's Wrath. Like like this should have all four Kaya's Wraths. I would take out the the Kaya for that. I also don't really like this planar cleansing. I want to play that card. Dawn's okay. I kind of oh. But yeah, I, I could definitely see cutting Dawn of Hope also. It's okay, though. Um, so yeah, I could I could see playing like some more some more sweepers in the sideboard also. Hey, what's up, Sothian? But I just don't think. I don't think Planar Cleansing is a sweeper because it doesn't get rid of the Nissa lands and everything. Doesn't get rid of it because you'd want it in that matchup, but it doesn't get rid of the Nissa lands, and it also costs six mana where we have a lot of we already have like a, a whole lot of sixes, and so I don't really want to bring in another six, kind of thing. Yeah, it could have like one Cry main and like the other in the board and get the fourth Kaya's Wrath in there, because I mean Kaya's Wrath is just ridiculous. Like you should probably just be playing four of those in the main. And just have the other cry in the sideboard. That would make that make sense. Um, so yeah. Um, all right, so that's Orzov control right there. Anyway, thanks, Othian. Okay, so if you're watching the video later on, uh, okay. Oh, another question: How do you play against Doom Foretold? If you d if you already don't have a lot on the board, you just don't play anything, and then you discard and get rid of it. That. Yeah, there's sometimes you just have to do that. Yeah, just just you know keep a like an extra land in hand, something that you don't mind discarding. Um, and let like if they have nothing, like if they have a bunch of like these things that if they have a bunch of stuff that's easy for them to sacrifice, that's probably your best bet. If they only have the Doom Foretold and nothing else, then you can play something out and you know try to make them sacrifice the Doom Foretold kind of thing. Um, if you can if you can get rid of enough stuff, but. Yeah, sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and not play anything. It's a tough card to play against, for sure. Hey, what's up, mommy? Thanks for that sub. That's actually sub number 10. Looks like I was a little behind on writing those down. So that's an awesome sub goal before we get out of here for this video. Um, but again, yeah, that's Orzov Control. Um, yeah, the, a lot of power. I, I liked what was going on here with the deck. And I still... You know, I don't think that this list, even like with these updates here, I don't think this is perfect. Um, but yeah, we'll have to kind of keep on playing this one because a lot of good stuff here. All right. Uh, again, if you're watching on YouTube, please hit that like button. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the list or any, anything to change there. Or if you're trying it out, if you're having success with it, let me know what you're doing. Um, but that's it here for Orzov Control, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.